3's 4G Super Voice service went live yesterday, the 10th of August. However, it has taken until today, which is actually pretty fast, for it to seem seemingly go live in the majority of areas. Now, Super Voice is a way of carrying voice calls over a new technology called VOLTE, so Voice Over Long Term Evolution. So, in other words, it's carrying calls over 4G. Now this is completely different to the conventional way of calling, of carrying voice calls because it is purely data and that kind of complicates things a lot because up until recently of course phones have been designed to carry calls on 2G and 3G, the sort of normal GSM way and you know this super voice service makes 3 the first carrier in the UK to utilise this technology. And the reason they did this is because their 3G sits on the 2100 megahertz band, which is quite high frequency, which means that it doesn't break through walls very well. So your outdoor coverage could be great, but you go inside and you might not even you might not be able to call or text or anything. And they had no 2G to fall back on either. So part of 3's 4G spectrum is on the 800 megahertz band, which travels really, really far, which is why it is currently the sort of cornerstone of O2 and Vodafone's 4G rollout. The majority of their coverage is in the 800 megahertz band because it travels really well. And 3 is in their internal marketing materials, which I've seen on forums and stuff. They say that the signal will smash through walls. And this will alleviate the need for signal boxes and costly technologies like them. Um, unfortunately, so far, the technology is only supported on the Samsung Gal Galaxy S5, which is a bit of a shame. But, like I said, it's a very significant change to the way that phones make calls. So rolling out to everyone immediately would cause a humongous amount of problems and their customer services would probably be completely swamped. Saying that, with the iOS 9 update, which I believe it should be coming around next week, that will then include an update so that the uh, certainly the iPhone 6 and above can carry uh, calls over LTE on 3's network. But for the time being, non voice over LTE phones such as my Motorola Moto G 3 and the first generation one can't make calls over the 4G network. However, I did find that by forcing the phone into 4G only and then doing a network search, it did come up with 3UK and it did actually let me connect to their 800 megahertz 4G. But it was quickly kicked off and I couldn't send or receive any data on that. So I mean the thought is 3's got some pretty sophisticated systems in place for working out where the phones um, are sort of on their supported list and whether they'll be able to get voice over LTE. So I guess the key thing is to wait really and see but certainly I wouldn't expect any phones more than about a year old to be getting voice over LTE but that's just my thought. 3 have updated their coverage map so you can see this is just the standard 4G coverage however if you select if you stick S5 into the Samsung Galaxy S5 you will see that the coverage increases tremendously. So I mean it goes from so it goes from what's on the right to what's on the left. So you can see that the coverage increases tremendously and certainly if 3 can roll this out to more devices, they will possibly become my second and potentially main contract. Because this this will just so significantly increase the coverage that they have, it will potentially um, give them both the reasonable amount of sort of internal city density with their 1800 megahertz, but also the great rural and dense urban indoor coverage with the 800 megahertz band. So I think some clarification is kind of necessary here. In, in order to receive voice over LTE and the enhanced range 4G services from 3, which are on the 800 megahertz band, you obviously need a phone that's 800 megahertz capable 
and also a phone which has the software ROM to carry voice over LTE services and that's kind of the complex thing so the carrier potentially has to provide a sort of custom update for every model of phone I think some phones just fundamentally won't be able to receive and make calls on 4G um, now 3's 1800 megahertz band as far as I know has not had the power increase um, so the idea is that if your phone does not support voice over LTE, it will only connect the 1800 megahertz 4G band and therefore if you go into an area where the 3G signal is weak, you won't end up on the 4G 800 band which will be coming through really strong and unable to make calls because like I said, it, the 4G 800 will reach really fast. If you've got a phone that can um, do voice over LTE, it will register onto that lower frequency 4G and will allow you to use data and make and receive calls. If your phone does not support it, then the danger would be that it would register on the 4G 800, you get say a 5 bars of 4G and you wouldn't be able to receive or make calls. So for some people that could be very misleading. So by keeping phones like mine only able to access the 1800 megahertz band, 3 is potentially doing a very necessary compromise at this point in time. So all in all, I'm looking forward to their announcement about supported phones very eagerly.